Hello friends! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mandy. I like to talk about makeup, makeup panning, things that happen in my real life, and stuff. So if you are interested in today's update for the paranormal pantivity, then stay tuned. Alright, this is my February update for Paranormal Pantivity. It is a Pantastic Ladies collab group project that was created by Andrea at Pretty as a Peacock. Uh, this is started on September 24th of 2022 and goes until this September 24th, which is National Ghost Hunting Day. If you, um, if, I don't know what I was saying with that. Anyway, it, Andrea said we can update monthly or bi-monthly. I am trying to do it monthly when I can. And yeah, you're to roll in six products at a time, rolling style, or I guess some people could roll them all in at once or have rolled them all in at once. Um, anyway, let's get into the products I'm currently working on, what I can roll out, and what's coming in. So last month I had my Medusa's bronzer that I was using as a blush. I had one use left on it. I used it and I've already decluttered and passed it on to my daughter. So I don't have it to show you, but um, I had it in for 13 uses and I completed that 13 uses. So that product prompt is complete. The next one is for Doppelganger and that is a product you have a backup or, or, or double of. And I brought in my Sally Hansen Hard as Nails uh, polish in the shade Naughty Cream. It is a dark burgundy oxblood color. Um, my goal is to use it six times. I've used it five times and I'm planning to use it tonight on my toes. Um, my fingers are bare, my toes are bare. Um, we are right down there. It is if you can see kind of curved at the bottom of the bottle so I have to like tip it up and I'm not even sure that that mark is completely accurate. It is sticking to the sides a lot. Um, it is a very old nail polish and it is almost complete. So I have one more use which I will get today, tonight, and um, I'm going to call this, com this prompt is complete is what I'm trying to say. So this is done and I will probably, I cleaned out an old nail polish and I'll probably dump what's left in that into that nail polish and that way I can see it a little bit better and maybe I'll start frankening something with all my dregs of other nail polishes. Anyway, next moving on is for the Prompt White Lady and that is a white product or packaging and I had one use left on this or two uses left on this last month as well and that is my NYX Epic Wear Liner in pure white. I am wearing it today on my waterline even though I didn't have to. Um, I met my goals on this and I had already rolled something in for it. So um, anyway, this is another prompt complete. So that's three prompts complete so far. Yay, me. Next is for the prompt Screaming Skulls. And that is a Halloween or scary themed item. For that, I brought in my BH Cosmetics Venom palette and I brought in the shade Silent Killer. Uh, which is this one here. I feel like when you say that, you have to say it out of the side of your mouth. Silent killer. Um, anyway, is this shade here. I do have it in the middle of my eye look today. My goal is to use it 13 times, and so far I have used it th three times this month, bringing me to six uses. So I'm halfway there almost. So this is going to be staying in. I really enjoy this palette. I uh, used this palette for my entire look today, so... It is definitely a wearable palette if you don't mind gray. Um, next is for the Prompt Banshee and that is a product you are close to finishing. I brought in my NYX Dewy, Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Um, I use this most of the time but not every time I do my makeup and uh, my goal is to empty it. It is so close. This will definitely be done before the next update before the next update. So over the last month I have used it seven, 16 times including today. Um, so in total I have used it 31 times in this project 
and it is still going but it, it's it's getting closer to its end I thought it was closer before but it's getting even closer closer I can't see through but I'm guessing we're like down here to the very very bottom so I'm guessing maybe five more uses and that will be empty next is for debuk debuk I don't know I was gonna look it up the pronunciation and I didn't so something that is still in its box at the time that was this Patrick Ta um, major volume mascara that I received from Ipsy and my goal was to use it 13 times no problem it is the only mascara I currently have open and I have used it more than 13 times and this is a prompt complete next for Kelpie is something you use in the bath or shower for that I brought in my shampoo which is the uh, Tahitian Gardenia Flower and Mango Butter Curl Defining Shampoo from Not Your Mother's. Um, when we brought it into the project, it was up here, and now we are down here, or maybe it was there. It was probably there, and that's probably a mark from another project. That's why it's rubbed off. Anyway, this is where we are right now. Over the mat last month, I have used it five times. So I have rolled it in last month, apparently. And I've used it five times and that's how we are. My goal is to use it 13 times so I have eight more uses to go and uh, yeah no problem using that as long as I'm home but the first half of March I will be not home almost consistently but I think my travel shampoo is empty so that means I can decant my uh, Not Your Mother's into a travel bottle. Yay! So I should be getting some work on that. And finally, the last thing I brought in last night, or last mo month, was for Bogey, or the Boogeyman or Bogeyman, and that is something you use at night, hence why I said night earlier. Um, this is my Burt's Bees, what is this called officially? Overnight Intensive Lip Treatment, this guy here. I already had pan in it last time, or a jar, and um, I just brought it in to use 13 times and I did that. I actually have it marked as 16 times because I forgot to stop marking it after a while, but I use this every night before going to bed. It is my nighttime lip balm, and that is a prompt complete. So I completed one, two, three, four, five prompts for this month. I had already rolled in two extra prompts, so I was working on eight um, last month, so I'm only rolling in three new prompts today. That hair. There we go. It was bugging me. Okay, so the three prompts I am rolling in, I've already pre-selected. I am just going down the roll, uh, down the list in the order that Andrea had created them, posted them. Anyway, the next prompt is for Demon, and that is something you were tempted into buying. So for that, I am bringing in my ColourPop Super Shock Shadow Ultra Glitter Formula in the shade Plume. Um, I bought this because everybody was raving about Super Shock Shadows and I'd never tried one. And this is what it looked like. Um, I have used it a few times. I don't think this, maybe my formulas was already dry when I got it. I don't think it's creamy like they talk about, but I really haven't explored this very much. So I'm putting this in project for, I guess for um, 13 uses. We'll see how long that'll take me because, you know, it's a super shock shadow that I don't particularly find exciting and it is ultra glittery. But um, yeah, I will give you a swatch of it, I guess. I don't know, to me it just seems like a regular eyeshadow, so I don't know. Oh, I think I just got to the creamy part. <laughs> I just rolled my finger a whole lot and I think I got to the creamy part of the eyeshadow. But there is a swatch of it there. It is really pretty pink with uh, bits of gold in it. Um, so we'll give that a try over the next month and I'll give you, while I'm here swatching things, I'll give you a swatch of Silent Killer because I don't know if I ever have. I think I have it when I rolled it in. There is a swatch of Silent Killer, just a beautiful gunmetal gray. And 
Next product I'm bringing in is for the prompt ectoplasm. And for that, the prompt is a face mask or sheet mask. Um, I am bringing in this deluxe sample size. This was my birthday gift from Ulta of the Dermalogical Multivitamin Power Recovery Mask. I have not used it. I just got it last month from Ulta for my birthday gift. Um, still sealed, so uh, my goal is going to be to use this up. I don't know how much I need to use in each application, um, but I will give this a try. I've never used anything from Dermalogica, so I'm excited to give this a try. I have no other face masks currently in my inventory, so in my collection, so I'm looking forward to using that up. And then finally, the last product prompt is for Ghost, a product with unfinished business, um, something aka something you panned in the past and did not meet your goal on, inspired by Emily and Max's uh, graveyard project pan. And I am bringing in a lip liner from Thrive Cosmetics. This is their Lip Fuller lip liner in the shade Gisland. Gisland. And this was in my 50 shades of purple last year and I did not meet my goal on it. I don't remember what the goal was, but I remember it was one of the things I didn't meet my goal on. Um, I will give you a swatch of it very carefully because I'm doing it with my wrong hand, but that is it there. It is a plummy rose color and I'm going to bring it in for 13 uses. We've got, this is uh, quite a bit. I'm not a big lip liner wearer, um, but I think this is a nice color on me and I think I can use it. I have a lipstick it which should pair nicely with, or I can apply it by itself and cover it with gloss. Um, so I'm hoping to get some use on it. it. I have had it for quite a while. It, it still seems quite creamy. Um, so that is good to know. But that is everything for today's update. If you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my content and you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit that button. And while you're there, ring the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I post my next video. And until then, take care of yourselves, stay true to you, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!